Welterweight matchup in our tail of the tape is brought to you by Burger King. Have it your way. American against Canadian. Definitive reach advantage, even though he is shorter, for Dwayne Bang Ludwig. And we know he is a world-class kickboxer who's worked for years on the ground. Let's get the official introductions. Here's the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first the fighter standing in the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer. He holds a professional record of 18 wins with four losses. Standing five feet, ten inches tall, he weighed in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Dwayne Bang Ludwig. And now introducing his opponent, standing in the red corner. This man is a kickboxer and a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He holds a professional record of 15 wins with five losses. Standing six feet, one inch tall, he weighed in at 169 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Quebec, Canada, introducing the road warrior, Jonathan Goulet. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Mario Yamasaki. Number two welterweight in Canada behind George St. Pierre is this man, Jonathan Goulet. His opponent coming back into the octagon for the first time at his newfound 170 pounds is Bang Ludwig. Really interesting. Oh, Bang Ludwig's hand. That is it. Unbelievable. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's that's gonna be the quickest knockout, Joe, wow. in UFC history. Wow. Well, the winner by TKO, Dwayne Bang Ludwig. All right. So officially, they call it 11 seconds. So it ties the fourth quickest knockout in UFC history. Nonetheless, it was quick. Joe Rogan. I am here with Bang, Dwayne Ludwig with an 11 second KO victory. Did you, did you think it was possibly gonna go that quick? No, I didn't, man. I just, um, I took the final two weeks notice. I said, you know what, I dropped everything. I quit work, I flew out to California to turn the boss in the mirror. And, um, you know, I have a lot of support at home with my wife, Jessica, and it just, everything flew together. Everything just came together. You know, I had two weeks notice, I wasn't really training, and I just, um, just focused in and boss took me under his wing again. I, 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 think, I think boss. And we're going to take a look at the Zion's replay. Talk us through the punch. 11 seconds in. Um, not to get cocky or nothing, but people just need to work more technique. He comes in wide, and I just came with the short right hand. So Now, you're a world-class striker. You fought some world-class kickboxers. Do you notice a big difference between regular MMA guys and the, the kickboxers as far as striking is concerned? Uh, yeah, of course. You know, there's um, It's more technical with the kickboxing because you don't have to worry about the takedowns. And you know any of this mission, so but you know whatever. I'm just here to have fun. Now, what's next for you, Dwayne? Is it more kickboxing, more MMA? I mean, what what, what are you gearing towards for your future? I, I want to stay in the UFC. If the fans want me here, I'd love to be here. You know, I got thing. Goulet, man, I was scared to death to fight this guy, man. You know, I'm scared to death for every fight. But uh, hey, I like to thank some sponsors. Just playing, Dana. <laughs> I'm just playing. Dwayne Bang Ludwig, ladies and gentlemen. So Dwayne Bang Ludwig with his trainer boss Rutten victorious and Jonathan Goulet disappointed. Here's Joe again. All right, Jonathan, I know you've got to be disappointed. Uh, how do you feel about that? Do you feel like you could have continued or do you feel like it was stopped prematurely? No, it, it stopped. Uh, it, it was okay. Uh, you know, it knocked me down. It, it was very fast and uh, I, I trained a lot in, uh, in during the Christmas time and something like that. Uh, some, everything can happen during uh, uh, MMA fight and, you know, it's my first lose in the world of weight and it's, it's, it's a, a little bit hard to but I'm not hurt, it's okay. So do you just chalk this up to experience and then just move on back to the drawing board? Pardon me? Do you 
chalk this off to experience and move on, just get back to the drawing board? Uh, I'll train very hard uh, again, and uh, I hope I'm coming back uh, soon for uh, for doing uh, uh, so what I know. Uh, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit shocked. Yeah. I, I, excuse me, everybody uh, who, in my town or something like that. Uh, I'm sorry, it was uh, a bad mistake. Well, you know what? The human jaw is not made to be punched, and <laughs> we look forward to seeing you again. Yeah. Good luck to you. Jonathan Galay, ladies and gentlemen.